Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Charles Jordan versus Victor Henry. Charles Jordan, 15-8-1. He's 2-3 and three in his last five fights, 2-2 two and two in his last four, on a two-fight losing streak. I believe he's dropping weight. Yeah, I believe he's dropping weight. Or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He weighed at 146 his last fight. He's going to 135, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. Minus 115, basically a pick 28 years old, 5'9", with a 69-inch reach. Victor Henry's 24-6, The no contest was against Javid Bashrat, XM to groin kick. It was weird. 37 years old, 5'7", with a 68-inch reach. 2-inch in height for Jordan with a 1-inch reach also for Jordan. I do think Jordan's striking. He hasn't looked... Yeah, he hasn't looked good, I don't think. I know he had two wins there, you know, against Krug Gracie, where Carter Wright most, which was a guillotine, which was very nice, very nice. But I don't think he's really looked all that good, impressive, since the Andre Ewell fight. I know he didn't finish him, but he beat the shit out of Andre Ewell. He beat the shit out of him. He looked so good. Lynn Landa won, he, you know, guillotined, and then he lost two in a row. I thought he would do well against Nathaniel Wood, and the movement of Wood and his striking, just Nathaniel Wood just pieced him up, hurt him a bunch of times, and then he beat Con Gracie, submitted Ricardo Ramos, or Hamos, and then lost a split against Sean Woodson, and then Gene Silva uh, K was the first person to KO him, and now he's moving down, and he's fighting the guy in Victor Henry who doesn't have power necessarily, but a lot of his fights, he has so much volume. I mean, if you look at it, there is so much volume with him um, right here. So look at Victor Henry. So strikes landed per minute 5.48 to 8.34 Henry. Accuracy is 48 to 54 Henry. Strikes absorbed per minute 4.35, 5.62. That'd be on Jordan because he doesn't get hit as much. Defense is 56 to 47 Jordan. And then he does go for takedowns every now and then. It's like 0.35, accuracy is 23, defense 48, 83 defense for Henry. Average for, submission average for a 15 minute fight is basically, you know, every other fight, you know, really. But I, it, it's hard because like, it's, it's really volume. How does uh, 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 Charles Jordan do? In a lower weight class, how is that going to take effect on him? Is it going to take effect on him? The first time he's been finished, isn't fighting a crazy power puncher, but he's fighting a guy who has tons of volume. Oh, that's what I was going to look at. Actually, actually, I forgot. That's what I was going to look at. Uh, let's see. Victor Henry, significant strikes, 109. Uh, ba Bacharet was only 25 because it didn't last very long. Tony Gra Gravely, 154. Uh, Rafael Sanso, he had 55. Hani Barcelos fight, he had 181. When he wins the fight, he lands over 100 strikes. He is, he has tons, tons of strikes, tons of volume. You know, and if you look at Jordan, I mean, his wins, you know, eight significant strikes. That, that was guillotine, okay. Beat Conan Gracie, 87 strikes, defended a crap load of takedowns. You know, beat uh, Lando, guillotine, beat Andre Ewell, 137, um, Marcelo Raujo, 106, and then Duhu Choi, I think that is, 64, he finished him, I think it was two knockdowns, yeah, yeah, Gene Silva knocked him down twice, Julian Rosa uh, got knocked down once, that was, that was a weird loss too, whew, boy, let's go do CJ, but either way, I have Victor Henry, getting the win in this matchup and as always guys subscribe by comment i'll see you at the next one peace